Here we are today on, on our favorite Sealy Road. We're looking at this lovely family home behind me. Um, as you can see, semi-detached. Got a little side entrance at the back, which leads down to the garden, super handy. Uh, it's a lovely day today, but even when it's not, this is one of the prettiest roads around. You can see tree lines, super quiet. Cars can't get through that way. Um, so you can no longer cut through this road as you used to be able to, it just gets better and better. Uh, you've got a little green just down there also, about 50 meters in front of us. I don't know if you can see it on the video, really handy. If you wanna stretch your legs a little bit, but we've got a lovely garden at the back as well. And as you see, when we get out there, it's full of sunlight. So you can absolutely help yourself to grow in all. You've had fruit and vegetables, let the kids run wild, let the dog run wild. Go and sit out there with a nice bottle of wine. Let's go inside and have a look. As you can see, there's a lovely approach to the house. Got this nice front garden area also. With the slate and these beautiful purple plants. Right away when you walk through the front door, you can see this lovely bright hallway. You can straight through to the kitchen and looking into the garden. Immediately on your left, you have really spacious for reception room. Beautiful shutters and this nice bay window lets in plenty of natural light in. Period features is everything you could want in one of these properties and a really really decent size. So at the back of the house you've got this lovely open kitchen dining space. Really really nice place presented with cabinetry built into the alcoves down the side of the old chimney breast. And as we spin around, you can see there's so much space in here. It's not one of those galley kitchens which you typically get on these, uh, these properties. They've opened it up very nicely. Pretty immaculate condition also. And really, I think in keeping with the house and how these properties should be transformed. Loads of space to get your nice family dining table in. And of course you lead straight out into the garden. Stepping out of the lovely French doors of the kitchen dining area, you've got this wonderful garden. So as you can see, it's a really decent size. Coming all the way back to the river, just running behind this back fence. And as we spin around, you can see how much sunlight is hitting the garden. We are around about 2.30 in the afternoon at the moment. Um, obviously this is when you want the sun flooding into the garden. This is when you're gonna be sitting out here and enjoying it. Having our alfresco lunches, going into the evening. Really is beautiful. And what's great about this part of the road as well is we back on, as I say, to where the River Gravening will run just behind this fence, which means that there's no other houses just behind us, no one looking at you. You've got all this greenery, which is a really lovely view. And of course, you've got the birds chirping away. As you spin around, uh, you have plenty of options in this house to do extensions, even though it's a really substantial house as it is. So one thing you could do is come out the back here, kind of where the, uh, the sort of patio uh, area is at the moment and do a rear extension off the kitchen. Not that it needs it, but it's, you know, the options are there for you. You can see, there we go, one, just a few doors down has done that. Equally, you can do the loft extensions as these three or four have done here, adding a whole other floor to the property. Uh, usually you can get a bedroom and a bathroom up there, kind of like a master suite, uh, which again, just really transforms the house. It means you can grow into it and stay here for years to come. As we saw at the front, uh, there is a side access, which is super useful for anyone green fingered or who's got bikes and they want to pull them in and out each day, not having to drag them through the house. There you go, options there for you. As we head on upstairs to the first floor, we've got this nice central hallway, again, really bright, light is coming in from both sides. Uh, you have master bedroom at the rear. Again, you've got some very nice wardrobes built on either side of the, uh, the old fireplace. Double glaze throughout, gorgeous views at the back. Again, super private because you've got nobody looking back at you. Totally hidden away with all the, uh, all the greenery. These nice stripped back wooden doors throughout. Again, super in keeping with the property and how it should be presented. The front room is another really decent sized double bedroom. Pretty much the same size as the first bedroom we saw. Obviously set up as a kid's room here, but make no mistake about it. You could easily get a nice big king size bed in here and wardrobe and desk without any problem at all. Uh, of course, we're at the front of the house looking over the main road here, but as I said, incredibly quiet road, no through traffic, so you don't really get much noise at all. And then you have the third bedroom. So 
as people are typically doing at the moment, set up as an office, a lot of people working from home, it's ideal for that. Lovely and quiet, nice side view again. Equally, could be a great kids room, could be a dressing room, could have it as a guest room. Lots of options here for you. And then you have a loft space just above here, which runs over the whole of the house. Loads of storage space, you know, to go along with the, uh, the, the couple of cupboards off the hallway downstairs. But equally, that's your space ready to be built into as well if you do want to do that. And then finally, we have a very posh family bathroom. So bath and shower, super practical, nice big storage units in this corner there. Trendy metro tile. Again, pretty immaculate. You know, you're not gonna have to do anything here. You can just move in, unpack your bags, know where you go. It's in great condition. So there you have it. The next best house is coming to market on Sealy Road. Beautiful families, ready to move straight into. Great schools around here. You've got a school probably about 100 meters down the road here. Another two schools, two or 300 meters that way. A lot of excellent options for you. Um, you've got Tooting Overground, which is right at the end of Sealy Road down here. You can walk through, you can't drive through. But you can walk down there in five minutes. Um, there you'll find Big Lidl, lots of nice gastro pubs, nice cafes everything you could want really and then beyond that another 10 minute walk you're in the heart of Tooting High Street with the market with the underground with all the jazz that Tooting can possibly offer uh, I think this is a really great location to be at these streets around here probably started three years ago we're really on the up and up um, and they've kind of really arrived now I think it's the best location to have a family home there's lots of kids around here there's good schools it's safe it's quiet it's just got a really nice feel to it and behind me there is the green I was mentioning earlier in case you couldn't see it but, you know what, when you come and view it, I'll show you then. So give us a ring.